Hi everyone, um, it's me again. Just an update for the Laglag Bala scam. Um, please, please, be for those who like me, Mira, be careful. <laughs> oh yeah, we're we're going to Philippines. Anyone who's going there, please be careful when you guys go home, go to Philippines. Um, if ever, uh, pocketless bags. Wrap it with a plastic. Come on, how much is a plastic? A shrink wrap in, in SM, right? Maybe only 45 pesos to save your life from those crocodiles. Our government basically is not really doing much for it. Even, you know, uh, we have been uh, I mean, Philippines has been shown internationally for that scam already but they still didn't change anything they are still seeing about five six seven people still you know putting those bullets being caught or whatever so safety and precaution is very important also ah uh, this is the update that i want to tell you guys when you get into a taxi hold your own bags if ever before you get in the taxi, unless it's from your hotel, from wherever you're staying, or a taxi driver that you that you know long time for a long time, if it's in Manila, please be careful, because um, just a few days ago I saw at the news that one guy he was leaving for another. It's just a domestic flight, and then his friend was with him when the taxi driver was going to take out the things from the trunk of the taxi he was trying to but put a bullet inside it's crazy right so yeah wrap your bags make sure that even the taxi driver would regret you know getting your bags or if possible keep your bags with you beside you don't let it be put in the trunk don't let them touch it don't let other people touch it and for other information, um, please all check my previous video. And when you get, if you ever get into that trouble that they would say there's a bullet, don't let them touch your bag. Don't touch your bag unless you have a representative either from your embassy or a lawyer. Tell them you will call the NBI, your embassy, and get a lawyer. And you don't want anyone touching your bag unless they are there. Because the fingerprint and all, I guess it's yeah um it's what uh the lawyers in the philippines told filipinos um i'm really proud of one filipina she's actually a citizen in u.s she got scammed like 500 pesos with that so in actually she's in u.s so i she just spoke about it i thought she would not come you know file a complaint only through phone like that but she came back I guess just today she came back to file a complaint so I guess that Naia is really angry with her or if you can divert your flights it's much better and it's much better to have you pick up or drop off by you know a driver that you know or much better uh, taxi from the hotel okay and yeah um if you can keep the card i always keep the phone number of your embassy of your hotel for assistance if it ever happens to you be careful guys even taxi drivers porters and the uh, workers at the airlines are working together to scam money it's embarrassing i'm sorry if anyone has experienced that but it's all we can do we have to be careful and then the next question to me was, Mira, what present should I bring for my, uh, the relatives of my girlfriend or my wife in the Philippines? Well, to be honest, you really don't have to bring anything. But I'll be honest with you, I'm also having that problem right now. I really don't know what to bring. Um, I'm actually planning to give my laptop to my sister because I'm going to get a new one. But then I realized that. It's Christmas and I have to spend a lot. So I'm just planning to sell it and then have more money. Not exactly give, but to celebrate more maybe. Because in the end, maybe I'm the one who's going to buy the food or whatever. 
So I'm really juggling into those thoughts. So, and if you're a foreigner and you wanted to give something to the family, with the situation right now in the Philippines, um, I heard that the boxes brought by the foreigners and also by the OFW, the workers at the airport would put a hole and get some items. Like I heard one, you know, I told you before, right? They took some items. So I think it's not really wise to bring that much. Um, chocolates are fine. Let's say for the father or for the brothers, uh, the easiest one could be men's perfume or just men's shirt or if they have families like you know the brothers and sisters of your girlfriend like that you can just buy a big pack of chocolate then you know that uh, 50 pieces one pack or 25 pieces one pack you can buy like five packs and then give it to the families like that or you can uh, for men, yeah, either maybe perfume, a shirt, something like that. You don't really have to make it grand. Um, to be honest, you really don't have to buy anything. Even for women, I would say chocolates is the best thing that you can give them. But if it's gonna be too much for your bag, just buy you some in a hypermarket and then give it to them. Now, if you really want less hassle, buy these. What is this? Can you see it? I bought this in Japan. Wait, it's 260 yen. It's envelope, envelope, and then with a little card. You can put like, let's say, 200 pesos, 300 pesos, and then say, ha Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love, Mira, <laughs> like that. So, at least, and then tell them, open it when you get home so they don't have to say anything. And then, if you will visit the family, of course, everybody would be there. Just bring like two, if it's a big family, bring two cakes. Red ribbon cakes are cheap. Maybe you can get two big cakes for only 700 pesos and then give the envelopes. And then for young children, you can give them either 50 pesos in an envelope like that. Once again, it's not really an obligation for you to give. But if it makes you happy to give, it's okay. But... If it's off your budget, that's understandable. Never force yourself. Or if it's, you know, if they are making you, like, do it mandatory. No, it's not mandatory. Even if you want to give, just give with your heart's content. It doesn't have to be more than that. Because some of them might expect too much. And also, it's good to, you know, tell your girlfriend. Maybe you have a budget like that. So, yeah. Usually, but um, you might ask. What if I want to buy something or you're an OFW? In my aunt's case, she would buy, you know, whatever is cheap. If she finds a cheap shoes for men, she will just buy that. Then, whatever is on sale. If you think sh uh, men actually like shoes, shirt, socks, socks, male socks, you know, they really like, they're really good with that. So, those are, men are basic. <laughs> So I think they're happy with that. Um, women, um, it could be makeup. If they, you know, you're used, they're using makeup. If not, you can just buy them chocolates or just, you know, um, perfume. You know, those not so expensive. Body lotion. <laughs> they like body lotions and body creams, whatever creams. They even said that the Dove, you know, the Dove um, soap is different <laughs> from the Dove soap from another country, from the Philippines, so I don't know if it's true, but that's what they said. I hope that answers your question. Um, let me check the other question.